As tech stocks near correction, financials are on the rise. Steve Full reporting an earnings beat after the bell yesterday. And J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon joining CNBC for an exclusive interview, warning the U.S. government's policies could pose a threat to the overall market. Listen. It's trade if the, if the skirmish becomes more of a war. Uh, it's, I would say the reversal of QE, and I don't want to scare the public, but we've never had QE. We've never had the reversal. Regulations are different. Monetary transmission is different. Governments have borrowed too much debt, and, uh, and people can panic when things change. So it, it's changing. We tell you it's changing. We know it's going to change, but what happens, it might have a, some effects that people don't expect. And I think it is bad policies. You know, bad policies lead to bad outcomes. Diamond's response there, uh, uh, being asked by Wilfred Frost what the biggest risk is to the markets. Joining us now is Stiefel CEO Ron, and chairman also of Stiefel is Ron Krushevsky. Welcome back, Ron. Nice to see you. Good morning. What do you think about Diamond's warning there about the unwind, the great experiment of reversing QE, even if it's well te telegraphed, going awry and disrupting markets in the economy? Look, I think the Fed has their arms around that. I mean, we, we haven't done it, so I think that any time you're reversing policy and that hasn't been done, there's some risk. But uh, I don't think it's uh, something that I'm particularly worried about. I don't want to argue with, uh, with Jamie, but uh, uh, we'll see. I, I, it's not something that's keeping me up at night. So let's talk about your results, which were overall better. I guess you had, you had updated investors a few weeks ago on what to expect. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the business as it relates to the overall market activity and, and clients' demand for risky assets. You know, we, we are uh, sort of a harbinger of what's going on in the marketplace, and so uh, we had uh, good results. Uh, more importantly, my outlook for both the economy and for Stiefel is very positive for the second half of the year. So I'm, I'm uh, uh, pleased with the results and, uh, and looking forward to a great second half of the year. What do you see happening in the second half of the year that makes you so optimistic? Well, look, I think there's a lot of things that are going well. Earnings are strong. Inflation is subdued. I think this whole trade war thing is overblown. A lot of people are, you know, getting all angst about this. It's very small to a $19 trillion economy. And we've, when we say here that, you know, rocking the boat is a winning strategy both politically and in trade talks, but tipping the boat over is not a good strategy. We're not going to tip the boat over here in trade. So I think it's, I think it's a little overblown at this point.